Bajo. And I still got the double anyways. Yeah, Listen, yes. some things are just meant to be. Yeah, just and like me uh, casting an entire local is how it goes. Yes. I came in, I came into this game with a broken wrist and casting locals from start to finish. I might as well, I'll send Zeno out <laughs> casting locals in, in doubles and triples. Broken wrist? What happens? Well, I mean, listen, I might have just got hit the way that pit did the. The hydrant combo into the arrow is one of the cleanest things I've ever seen a pit convert. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I you would think the Starfus would be doing better. He was just watching Sinji play. It's like it's his hero, the best Pac-Man we got, and he's going uh, pretty toe-to-toe -to -toe with this pit though. And so, Vernie, it's good work. I was gonna say now that he plays mostly Kazi, I mean, he might just be the best Pac-Man we've got anywhere. Yeah. Let's go, Shinji. You can you can time out anybody any day. And I'll still root for you, just like yeah. I root for Star Force here. But Vernie is mounting the comeback. And I was going to say, Swiss, I mean, the comeback's been mounted because he's got the lead, right? Uh, able to find it for a second, oh. but down throw up nice. air. Star Vernie is able to shark that 
at off the combo and convert the stock. Neutral air though, able to just keep that hydrant in the air just a little bit, deactivate the hitbox and find the conversion. So now pushing you to the corner and Pac-Man here has to be careful to not get the jump snipe. Almost lost it there through the trampoline, but barely able to find a way back. Vernius is really working hard to beat the YouTuber allegations. Like I'm just not a YouTuber. I can play games. We have to say goodbye to Kerbo. We'll see Kerbo right. later. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Oh, sh no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good little two piece there from the Pac Man. Still can bring this back. This has to find a way to avoid pit. He was very fast on the ground. Yeah. You know, the, the problem with me playing against Pac Man in any situation is that Pac Man always makes me just a little bit hungry. Yeah. Whenever he does that dash attack, no. I'm like, yes, I could go for a pizza. I will yeah, say, I watch the way these two are playing around <laughs> Hydrant, right? Just oh, the mix and the spacing and the timing. Now Star Force is having to go away from it because we've seen those orbitals come out. And at this high a percent, if you throw on a descent and we see those orbitals again, it could just reflect in the stock. Tried to come past ledge there with the bell, find the conversion off the reversal, but instead, hey, Pit still got a disjoint, right? And that back air kills. Pit's yeah, the no. speed, the disjoints, mm -hmm. the arrows. Hey, I mean, Pitt's got it all on paper, but in practice, you know, an all-arounder, it's hard It's hard because other characters just do things better, but well, you can't ever discount Pitt. And, and hold on, you know, Pitt, other characters might do things better, but Pitt does few things better than back air, right? Shout out to our local fusion combinator, Amber, yes. who successfully convinced Mr. Mr. Mice to shout out that very move <laughs> in a recent video. That's so right. you know what? It's got some sauce, and yeah, it's called yeah. back air and neutral air. He's like, uh, you know, the tapatio of characters. He's got a little sauce. It's oh. usually what you find at restaurants, and it gets the job done. Oh, oh hold, hold on. Stage. Yeah, in, in the meantime, though, the end of here of Star Force and Vernius, unless we go to a game three. Of Vernius, we definitely did it before, and this is how it starts. Mm. 
keeping this one like nice and even. However, that grab, there's no getting away from. Um, oh, nice um, yeah, and I like that a lot, right? F try to get the mix. You drag them down on platform, but they're forced to shield because they're expecting in an up tilt and going with a down tilt there just poke allowed allows you to call it out afterwards and damage the hydrant. Just beautiful stuff from them. And Vernius has really been locking in some of these mix-ups. The question is just whether it's gonna be enough. I like the way that Vernius is like jumping around uh, Pac-Man too. Using the fact that Pit has like those like rare three jumps that no most normal characters have. Yep, use it to your best advantage. And you know, when you're panicking, you can just throw out the arrows. It was my go-to strategy in Kid Icarus Uprising. <laughs> yes, sir. Wow, the orbitals on the bell, but missing the back air. Vernius has had that game right there, but okay. might have let it slip to his fingers. Has can't find the micro spacing because of the hydrant water. Is able to disrupt the fruit though, and catching not the jump. Beautiful discipline from Starforce to give him one more chance. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be able to do it. He's just standing behind the hydrants. Right. Just a little poke needed. There we go. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> it, was a, it was a tug of war for that. Oh, he, oh, he so wanted it so bad. He could have just jumped up there and found a back air at that percent, but instead just wanted to get yeah, the clip, and cool that might have cost him. However, Vernie is still at ledge. He's not out of the woods yet. Down throw, great DI to get out of the up air opportunity. Avoids the melon with the disjoint, and catches the catch as well. Oh, all and right. He, the real clip on. is winning the game. But I understand okay. the wants, you know? If you're not styling, you're not playing. And listen, this is the last chance you might ever get to hit a clip at Xeno, right? That's right. Oh, there it is. Oh, and that clip by the apple. And, and while we're while we're talking about clips, can we get a matchup that we might never see again? Can we get Station 1 on the screen? Oh.
Yeah! 